Hey, what's going on, everybody? Thanks for watching this one. Again, as always, if you're watching this live, let me know that you're watching this live. And if you are watching this on the replay, let me know that you're on the replay. We had an awesome question um, inside of our private group in the VIP program about, hey, how the heck do I optimize my funnels on mobile? When you start to design something inside the funnel builder or the website builder, and it looks really, really good when you're in desktop view, sometimes you'll open it up in mobile and be like, what the crap? There's spacing is all wrong and sections don't line up properly and things just look like an absolute mess. And so what I wanna do in this video is show you guys how you can optimize your funnels and websites for mobile using a little bit of a hack that I use um, just in just in terms of breaking up sections. And so JP, this one is for you um, and anyone else who is curious about how do I optimize my funnels and websites for mobile. So with that being said, let's get into it. And again, as always, if you're watching live, let me know, give us a like, give us a comment, help the algorithms just explode so that more people get help on high level how to videos and just overall high level functionality. So let's let's dive in. All right, we're going to add this over here. Now, this is a quick little sneak peek in something that may or may not be coming your way very, very soon, everybody. But we've got this website. This probably looks familiar to some of you. Um, now, when you look at this, it looks it looks really nice, right? Um, we're obviously still building a few things out, but this is kind of a basic layout. Um, there's, there's some elements that will optimize easier than others just by default. And so it's, some, it's something that you need to kind of understand. Anytime that you use a two, three, four column row, this is where you're going to see the most um, effect on the mobile view side of things. And so how I do this, and again, I want to I want to stress here, guys, that I am not a funnel builder um, by any means. I am not super creative. Um, I'm really good at automations inside high level, but when it comes to funnels and things like that, I leave that to experts. But these are some of the strategies that I use um, for myself when I am building a quick funnel. And, and one of the cool things about high level is that you can easily and quickly launch a product, um, you know, within within a few hours if you know how to do this stuff. So in terms of just building that funnel out, adding products, getting the workflow set for delivery, you can do that in a couple of hours with this program. But you want to make it look good because if your funnel looks like crap, people just are going to hop on and they're going to hop off. So let's kind of go through some of the baseline functions. So anytime you've got a one column row, which is this one right here, and then you've got elements inside that row, if they're text elements and image elements, more specifically text elements, when you click on the text element, you've got your mobile font size and your desktop font size. Now this makes this super, super easy to optimize for mobile because all you got to do is come over here, look at the mobile view and say, uh, does this look good on mobile? No, I think it probably needs to be a little bit smaller on mobile. And you can come in and you can optimize just the mobile text font size. Now, images are another are another animal, right? Um, I don't think this image is too bad, but what if I wanted to make this image smaller on mobile and less prominent than it is on desktop, right? So we've got this sizing right here. If you click on your image, you know, you can add your image and you can adjust the width here. That's going to just overall change the size of the logo. So if I change that width to 200 on desktop, it looks super small. Whereas on mobile, that actually looks really good. So how do I, how do I make this look good on both desktop and mobile at the same time? It's pretty simple. Um, I'm just going to remove the sizing here. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to duplicate this one element within this section because one of them needs to be bigger on desktop. One of them needs to be smaller on mobile. And so the way that you do that, I've now got it duplicated and I'm going to come on to the top one and I'm going to leave that as the desktop version. So I'm going to go over to advanced and I'm going to click on visibility and I'm going to turn mobile off so that now the mobile view is not turned on. And if I go to mobile, now I've only got one logo instead of two. We're going to do the same thing with the second logo. So we're going to turn the desktop view off now we're going to go into mobile and we're going to resize just this one element. And let's, I think we did 200 and that looked half decent. So we're just going to do that. So that's, that's how you can mobile optimize individual elements. And it's just important guys to get your feet wet a little bit, get in there and realize what elements need to be mobile optimized versus what elements don't. Um, most of the time, text elements you don't need to create a duplicate of it to mobile optimize it because you've got the option 
for mobile font size right here. And you can just tweak and change this however you want, right? And so I'm just gonna come in here and I'm gonna tweak the mobile font sizes like so until it looks good, right? And same thing with like buttons. You can do the mobile font size on buttons. You can change all of that stuff. So anything to do with text is very, very, very simple to mobile optimize. But now, now let's get into kind of some of the more complicated stuff. Um, I'm going to scroll down to here. So this is like a, just a mock-up that I created real quick. Anytime that you're dealing with a, you know, multiple column row on desktop, it looks really good. The spacing looks great. Um, but as soon as you go into mobile and you go to that same section, these things are just right on top of each other, which looks horrible. And the tendencies of some people are going to be, okay, well, I just need to take this section that's below it and I need to add padding or margin to move it lower. But the problem is that when you do that, let's uh, let's actually duplicate. Let's duplicate this slide because I want to sh I want to show you what this is going to do. When you do, when you add padding to one of them and you duplicate that one, the padding shrinks, which means now you've got to actually increase this padding by another twenty in order to make it even. So there's things like that that are kind of really annoying um, and not super useful. So here's here's what I typically will do with that. And here's the other thing. You add, start adding padding and it messes up your desktop view as well. So here is how I do this. I'm just going to delete these two. And I'm going to come in here to this again. So you can do this either section by section or column by column. It doesn't really matter. But typically what I'll do is I'll just make an entire section for desktop and then I will duplicate that entire section and I'll go in and I will modify it for mobile. So let's just go and duplicate this whole section. Now this section I like for desktop, so we're gonna leave that at desktop only. This section, we're gonna go and we're gonna make it mobile only. So now this gives us the ability to go in and just tweak these two column rows and we're gonna turn them into actually one column rows in mobile. So we're gonna go into the mobile only view. And now here's what we're going to do. We're actually going to delete this one altogether. And in fact, I'm going to delete all of these two column rows because they're kind of useless to me at the moment. Now I can come in here and I can duplicate that column. And that's going to make your spacing look much better, much prettier. And then you can go ahead and modify whatever you've got to modify on here. So the biggest, the biggest thing is there's some elements obviously that that look great on both, but there's some elements that don't. And typically the only major changes that I typically ever make in terms of mobile optimization versus desktop optimization is when I have a two column row or a three column row where I need to actually just break that up a little bit. Um, and I, I'll show you another one actually. So let's just click save here real quick. Um, order forms is another, is another interesting component. So let's go and go to the template that I made for the order pages here. It's really important when you're mobile optimizing a page that you know, oh, I did this yesterday. Oh, there we go. Nope, it didn't save. Never mind. Now I'm going to have to rebuild this. Um, it's really important to know that like when you're when you're mobile optimizing something, what's going to be on top and what's going to be on the bottom, right? So let's um, let's delete this and I'm going to actually just create another two column row. And inside this two column row, we're going to create an order form and kind of an, an info page, right? So let's go. Typically, whatever I want them to see first that's above the fold is going to go on the left. Anything that they have to scroll to is going to be on the right because this is just going to create that, that effect. So everything on the left is going to be on top and everything on the right is going to be on the bottom. So we're going to do a, we're going to do a quick headline and this is going to be, you know, the funnel name right here. Um, I would do maybe a sub headline for suggested retail. Don't judge me for my spelling because when I'm doing things live, I do things fast and then I end up misspelling things. Um, now underneath here, we're going to probably put in an image and that image is going to be one of our funnel images. Let's go to the media library. Where is it? Da, 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 da. There we go. We'll put that in there. Now, again, this one, I probably want to resize. I don't want it to be so huge. So we're going to make that 200. Sounds good. Um, and then we're maybe going to do a little bit of like a, you know, about this funnel. We'll do a little sub headline. 
And then we're going to do some bullet points. Um, so let's go find bullets. Can we do search? Yes, we can. I'm still getting used to the new layout. So here's some stuff. Here's some stuff. Whatever. Now on this side, we're going to go and we're going to add a one-step order form. And inside your one-step order form, typically when I'm selling things like this, I don't need to know everything about you. So what I'll actually do is I'll remove company name and I will remove shipping information so that it's just super simple name, email, phone number, and then you've got your order form here. So now let's go and see how this looks on the mobile view side of things. Already, it's not too bad. I think this the one thing's again, you're going to change the font sizes a little bit. Like this doesn't need to be so big on mobile, so we can change that. Um, and you can kind of edit all this stuff. But already, this looks pretty good. But what happens if I take this column and I move it up? Well, now, like I said before, this is just going to make that appear above the fold. Um, and another, another thing that a lot of people miss, and I actually get this question a lot about sections and things like that was this section really should be up at the top right so the funnel name should be up here everything should be a little bit higher up and they can't figure out how to do this when you click in a section and you scroll down to the bottom you've got content spacing and content spacing if you move this center it's going to keep everything center if you move everything you know evenly it's just going to stretch it out and make it look kind of silly but if you want everything to line up on the top and look good you're going to align everything left and so when you're doing this inside different sections and you want everything to line up on the top, you're going to align it left because left is top. Just like this column here is left, left is top. So whenever you're trying to make those things line up, there's a quick little hack for you is that you just change your content spacing to left and it's going to raise everything up to the top for you. So that is a really quick breakdown on, you know, kind of mobile optimizing your funnels and websites. And like I said, guys, I'm not, I'm not an amazing funnel designer by any means, um, but these are just some quick tips and quick little hacks that I've realized. Anytime the most important piece is anytime that you've got more than a one column row, like a two column, three column, four column, you want to mobile optimize that section to be one column rows so that your columns just line up nice and there's even spacing and they're not trying to, you know, they're not trying to come on top of each other. Um, so that's the biggest piece of advice that I can give is anytime that you've got that two to three column row or more that you duplicate that section, make your desktop one desktop only, and then go in and edit your, your mobile version um, in order to make everything line up. So again, not a funnel designer, but I hope that was helpful. And I hope that gives you guys some ideas. My recommendation as always is to play around with this so that you understand what ele what different elements do inside the funnel builder on both desktop and mobile and which elements you're going to need to duplicate resize um, and make desktop or mobile only um, for the most part i would say there's probably about 30 percent of the elements inside the funnel builder and the website builder need to be modified for mobile the rest of them are fairly simply modified for desktop and mobile already in that element section so again i hope that was helpful as always, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments and I'm always happy to help wherever I can. Um, and yeah, let's just keep on growing, keep on building and keep on learning inside the platform because this is the single best platform in the world. And with that, we'll see you on the next one. Take care.